Hello everyone. In this session, we will see about configuring BGP with multiple ASs. As you can see here, I have AS10, AS20, AS100, AS200. I have already configured AS20 between, between R6 and R8. You can see here, show IP BGP summary. The BGP neighborship is up. The IP address assignment on this interface are very simple. Between R1 and R2, I have 12.001 this side, 12.002 this side. Between 4 and 6, 46.004 on the R4 side, 46.006 on the R6 side. So here you can see 68.008. It means it is the FA0 slash 0 interface IP of R8. And I have advertised my loopback IP from here. So this lab is all about I'm going to advertise from this side loopback IPs to R7 over this network. And I have two ASS, AS100, AS200, which will add as an ISP. And this is my enterprise. I'm learning these IP address from the remote end via two ISPs to my enterprise. And let's see how it works. On R6 to R4, we'll configure eBGP. I'll go to R6. The remote AS is 100. That's it. I'll go to, again, I have two neighborship. 56.005. 56.005. Remote AS is 200. That's it. I'll go to R4. My AS number is 100. Neighbor is 46.006. Remote AS is 20. I'll go to R5. My AS number is 200. My neighbor is 56.006. Remote AS is 20. Show IP BGP summary. Let's see if R4 neighborship came up. Yes, it came up. You can see here. And I am learning five prefixes from him. What are those? To check it, the command is show IP BGP neighbor, neighbor IP, remote A, sorry, received routes. As of can now we can see my received routes is not showing anything because I haven't enabled the inbound uh, soft reconfiguration on this particular neighbor. So once I enable it, a route refresh command, a route refresh packet will go from R4 to R6. I have recorded that packet in my packet capture, which I did before. So once I enable it, something like this it will go. This was I enabled between 68.006 and 68.00. Eight. It was between R6 and R8. So the packet here, as you can see, a route refresh packet went to that guy asking to refresh the routes. And the router 8 has sent an update message with the network layer received information, NLRI. So basically, BGP exchanges happen with the help of NLRI packets. So the update message is type 2, I believe, and here route refresh is type 5. Now let's go back and see, do I have the entry in my routing table? I don't have it. So now how to fix it? Very simple. Go to router BGP 100. If my neighbor is 46.006, soft reconfiguration inbound. So once I configure this, I should be able to see my receive routes. I'm going to do the same command again in R5 because I must be facing the same issue. Here I see there are five prefixes, but in my receive routes, I will not see anything. So how to fix it? Simple. Router BGP 200. If my neighbor is 56.006,
of reconfiguration involved. That's it. Now I have the routes. So between R2 and R4, I'm going to run OSPF. And we will try to redistribute the OSPF routes into BGP and R4. So I'll go to R4, configure terminal, router BGP, sorry, router OSPF 1, network is 24.000, simple I'm just using area 0. Same network statement I have to use on R2, router. OSPF1, that's it. Redistribute BGP. AS number is what? So here is my AS100. I am going to distribute my routes from AS10 to my end. So I just probably should type AS BGP only. Okay. I have to use subnets so that all classless routes should be received. I'll go to R4, go to R2 and change the router table. Show IP route. I am not having any route about 10 network. I'll go to R4. Here I'll say redistribute BGP. Oh, now only it came full. Let's see if anything changes here. I don't see any entry of these loopback IPs from R8. I'll go to R4. We'll see, we'll put redistribute BGP. AS number is 20. Uh, I'm sorry. Here my AS number is. I'm sorry, I am running 100. So I'll be using 100. That's it also a mistake. That's it. Again, I missed subnets. So my BGP routes show IP BGP. Show IP route BGP. These routes, which are learned via BGP, has been redistributed to OSPF. Show IP route. Oh, here it not show. If I go to R2 and see, show IP route. Here you can see, I have received those in terms of what? external routes in BGP. Via BGP. So R2 got it. Let's configure R1 and R2. Now I have those routes in my routing table in the uh, in the OSPF. So once I configure R1 or R2 with an eBGP connection, I have to redistribute my OSPF route back into BGP. Okay, I'll go to I'll add something here to be precise. OSPF one I'm using there. Here also I'm using OSPF one. Okay, let me let me quickly do that. Let us configure eBGP here. Router BGP is hundred. Neighbor is home. Twelve dot zero zero one. Remote AS is 10. I'll go to R1, configure it, router BGP 10, neighbor is 12.002, remote AS is 100. Let's wait for it to come up. So I BGP summary. So now I will not see any routes here because those are in my BGP. So I have to take it into, sorry, those routes are in OSPF. I have to take them into BGP. So we will do that in our next video. This is the part one. Let's pause it and you can see the part two video now. Please click on the part two video of the same BGP session. You'll be able to see the continuation of this.